Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So um, we are back from the public holiday and I think a couple of key things. We are above this channel. This is not an area I want to be going long at the moment. I want to see some pullback, I want to see some structure before we start um, looking for those longs. 4,000 is still the, the target at the moment and I seriously think that we're going to have uh, some profit taking up there so it is been pretty much a bit of a struggle at the moment to get up but uh, yeah we can't really take yesterday price action into account there was uh, very low volumes and uh, also not really much on the go so we have opened this morning with a green bar on the three hour you can see this is the first three hours of the session my concern is the oscillators are grouped to the upside here this is not an area for me to be long um, the area for me to be long is lower down. Now, we do have a weekly gap up, and uh, let's just get to the hour because uh, that's probably our area that we want to be paying attention to. So, all of this price action yesterday, which is pre pretty much just the futures market, had nothing to do with the S&P um, itself, which uh, pretty much has got a massive gap now. And that is roughly a half a percent, 200 point gap. So for me, I'd like to see that gap close. There is a, another little gap just below it, and a breakout retest here of 39.34, and possibly all the way back down into 3900 uh, area. You can see there's quite a bit of interaction in here. So that's kind of my play at the moment. So I'm not really interested in chasing this where, where we are at the moment. Uh, we are extremely uh, overbought right now, and it, um, doesn't leave a a warm fuzzy feeling in my mouth at the moment so anyway for me pullback structure and then we should look for entries long uh, am i interested in shorting this year no definitely not i have no intention of shorting it the trend is up so i don't go against that trend so at the moment the only thing that i can suggest is we need to wait for european open and uh, have a look at the DAX video because I have a feeling there's something brewing on the DAX which may or may not impact us at the moment but uh, right now this is the target area you can see there are gaps here there are even smaller gaps further down so I'm on the 15 minute chart and you can see there's a gap and I think that, yep, there's another one there okay so we have some fairly serious gaps all the way down to that level which is on at 3900 so that would be a pretty big move down so it's a shorter route to 4000 than it is to 3900 but uh, i'm really skeptical at the moment anyway so that's kind of my view at the moment if i do see something i will let you know on the telegram channel but uh, for me at the moment, I want to see some structure. I want to see a pullback onto structure. Uh, preferably see this weekly gap closed and then see if we can build a base and then target the 4,000 area. So that's my um, strategy for today. I suppose 4,000 probably won't come today, but uh, I think we're going to make little stabs at it until we get there. And uh, that's going to be the bigger decision point. Anyway, that's it for me today on the S&P 500. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.